been here in a month, so it feels great to be back with my church family. Um, I had no idea what to talk about for communion, so I asked the Lord about it. He told me to talk about faith. I asked him why. It's been talked about so many times before at church, and I'm no expert on faith. No, yeah, he actually You see, the thing is, I've gotten into this bad habit of going to man before I go to God, or because I've begun to doubt that I was hearing God clearly. I would believe anything that somebody would say that God was saying before I would believe that what I was hearing from God. Not long ago, I had a wake-up call after having a bad experience of going to man before going to my Lord. I accepted that I was hearing clearly from God. I just didn't always like the things that he would tell me, so I'd block him out. God doesn't always tell us what we want to hear, but we have to face it and accept it because our Heavenly Father knows what's best for us. Nobody can tell me what is right for me except for Jesus. Jesus died on the cross so we could be saved. We have the luxury to live the life that God intended for us, thanks to him. We have, just have to listen and be obedient. We need to stop complaining about what we don't have and thank, thank Jesus for what we do have. Thanks to him, we have the gift of the Holy Spirit. The power of God lives inside of us. There are no limits. You have the ability to change your life thanks to Jesus. You don't need to be the person you are now if you're not happy with the person you are now. God can guide you to where you are supposed to be, but change starts with you. Jesus is bigger than any problem we have. He loves us so much that he died for all of our sins from the past and all of our sins that we will commit in the future. Jesus is our refuge, he is our saviour. Nothing compares to his love for us. Let's remember Jesus' love and sacrifice. Can we please hand out the elements? And feel free to take them and, yeah, and raise them.